So I get asked this question a lot and let me just start by saying that I think that all men should delete dating apps. It's not helping men. It's 80% of men are not getting anything from dating apps. Does does not benefit you at all. All it's creating is for women to have higher egos and it's just ruining men's self-esteem. So I don't see the purpose for men to to want to be on the apps. I think that collectively men should just delete the dating apps and that would just make women delete it too they wouldn't use it because nobody would be swiping on them i think that it would bring women back down to earth too because so many women think so highly of themselves and they have such a self-inflated ego their ego is so big nowadays because of dating apps because they're getting all these matches that in real life they wouldn't be getting so just starting off by saying stay off the dating apps not a good call I think everyone should should delete dating apps. It's just ruin society as a whole. But especially men, I think men should collectively say no more dating apps. Okay, so now let's move into where can men meet good quality women. I had gone to church um, the other day and I noticed that there were so many people, like younger people, 20s, 30s. Um, it wasn't really like elderly and it wasn't really a lot of families. It was a lot of younger people. Um, so I think if you're religious, that might be a good place to meet a good woman because you know what, even if you don't meet the woman at church, um, a lot of these churches, what they're doing is they're building a community and, you know, just go and this is if you're religious, by the way, I don't want you to fake being religious and go to church to try to meet a girl. That is not okay. But if you're religious, then I think church might be a good way to meet someone. So you could make friends there um, and you never know. Even if you don't meet someone, you could just make a friend that might invite you to other events and then you might meet someone like that. So I think it's just good for just networking because at the end of the day, if you are religious and you're going to church, you're going to meet people that have the same type of mentality as you, that have the same type of morals as you. So that in itself is a good uh, way to network. Another one is... Obviously through friends would be the best way to meet someone, but sometimes it just doesn't happen. Another form, um, I would suggest joining some type of, so not the gym, definitely not the gym. With all that's going on with all these women recording men and calling them creeps and all these things, like you do not need to be one of those men that gets reported falsely and just, just don't hit on a girl at the gym. There's no point. However, what I would suggest is there are classes like spin class. Um, I don't know. It depends. Like, what do you like to do, right? That depends. So if there's anything that interests you that you might want to do, like if you want to learn how to cook, why not take a cook cooking class? There's going to be girls there for sure. These women have healthy habits. You just never know. I think that you need to put yourself in more situations where you might where you might meet women that align with what you like, right? So don't be fake and don't do things specifically just to meet women. If you hate the idea of yoga, don't go to a yoga class. There's also sporting events. So not like I'm not saying go to um, a baseball game or anything like that because it would be mainly men there. But I'm saying um, recreational clubs. So joining like a volleyball team or joining a tennis team or something like that. Not only is that going to bring you another, like I said before, a sense of community, um, but you might you might meet someone that's interested in the same things as you. And if not, you're gonna you're gonna mingle with people that will be your friends, and they might introduce you to someone in that way too, right? The grocery store. You know what? You'd be surprised if you're at the grocery store. You can strike up a conversation with a woman and just ask her a question. Ask her if she knows where the ketchup is. I don't know. But don't hit on her, just ask her a simple question. If she continues the conversation or seems interested, then continue the conversation, keep it friendly, keep it light. In the summertime, dog parks are a great way to meet women. Yeah, just parks in general, they have activities like tennis, uh, things like that. So I would say stick to your stick to your morals and stick to your values and stick to the activities that you like to do. and. Try to find a way to incorporate that where you could possibly meet someone. Um, and if even if it's not a woman, where you could possibly make friends because you never know, those friends might introduce you to someone or they might end up inviting you to an event where you would meet someone. So I would say start putting yourself out there and start networking in that sense and just make sure that you are sticking to your morals because you don't wanna date someone that has completely opposite morals of you. 
Stay away from bars, stay away from clubs, stay away from social media. These are not the places that you want to meet women. Um, stay away from dating apps, like I said already. It is highly unlikely that you will meet a good quality woman at a club, at a bar, on a dating app, things like that.